Hi guys, welcome to another tutorial on my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the motion tracking in Filmora 12. Okay, so this is a tutorial for beginner who don't know anything about Filmora. If you already have Filmora 10 or Filmora 11, this motion tracking feature is still the same. Okay, so it is very easy to do the motion tracking in Filmora 12. Let's go to my computer screen. Okay, so this is my Filmora Trail example project and for example, I can use this clip of me in a theme park. So all I need to do is to drag and drop it onto the timeline. And let's say I want to split the clip at this position and I would delete the beginning. Okay, so let's make it about 5 seconds. So I'm going to split here and delete this one. And now in order to use the motion tracking, you have to put the playhead at the very beginning of the video. And then you want to click this option, motion tracking, or you can just double click at the video on the timeline. Okay, just double click here. And then you want to select AI tools and you will find the motion tracking. Okay, so just click here to activate the motion tracking. And then you want to adjust the tracking point. Okay, so just put it at the point you want to do the motion tracking. For example, this is my face and I can resize this tracking point. And the next thing you want to click here to start motion track. Just click here and then wait a few seconds for the program to track the face. Okay, so it is tracking my face here. It is very good because it just follow my face. All right, so the motion tracking is finished and you can play to preview it. Very nice. And if you want to adjust any point, you want to just put the playhead at the position you want to adjust. For example, at this position, I can click here and then adjust a little bit. And then Filmora will create a new keyframe for it. And you can use this option, just move one frame forward or one frame backward to adjust the tracking point. For example, I can move one frame forward and then I can click here and adjust a little bit. So this is how you can adjust the tracking data. Okay, and let's click OK. Okay, and the next thing you want to put a text or an image or a video or something like that so that you can create motion tracking effect. For example, I can put the playhead at the very beginning and then I can click here at the quick text and then I can add a 3D text, just click here. And then I can just double click at the title box here and then I can change it to my name, for example. And let's make it about 44 at the side here and then we can click OK. And now we need to double click at the video again. Just double click at the video here and then select this one, link elements. Okay, just click this drop down menu and then you want to select 3D default text here. And you want to adjust the text here also. Okay, and if you want, you can change the format of the text also. By the way, you want to click OK here. All right, and here's the result. That's easy, right? So this is how to use a motion tracking feature in Filmora 12. Uh, added to that, if you want to add multiple text or multiple image or video or stuff like that, you want to duplicate this video. For example, I can press Ctrl C to copy it. And then I want to paste it at this track. Just press Ctrl V to paste it and move it to the beginning. And then we can, maybe I can add another image or stuff like that i will go to stop media and then i can find a photo and yeah let's do this one just right and drop this one onto the timeline okay and then i can just adjust the crop area select crop and i want to make it just like this okay and then i can click apply okay and i can resize this image also and put it right here next to my head and the next thing you want to double click at this video and select link element here just select street fashion style and then adjust the image to this area and now this image will follow my face for example we can play the video 
very nice right by the way we have a text under the video so now we need to hide this video just to show one video okay and then we can play and we have a text and an image follow my face okay so we have to adjust the image a little bit because it's cover my text all right so this is the final result So this is how to use the motion tracking feature in Filmora Trail. I hope this video is helpful for you. If you have any more questions, just let me know in the comment section below. And if you are new here, consider to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos like this. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Goodbye.